All right, we're going to be getting into it right now. And you know how you said, oh, you know, if you choose not to engage with Pac-Man, you can lift those out of sense. So what we're going to be seeing is Sinji basically forcing it. So, yes. you know, first of all, Pac-Man in this game does have some aggressive options. We're already seeing He's how Sinji's great boxing tools. Oh, man, that forward air comes out so yeah. quick. I think it's either frame four or frame four. And it's got, it's got no lag either. You can do two oh, of them yeah. in one short hop. You can do that in air, that into the land, and then the grab. It's a fantastic baiting tool. And oh, man, he re caught the Galaxian, meaning that there's so much more damage to be threatened. Yeah. Which I actually do like. He was trying to like read a panic option or an air dodge, and he uh, usually did not give it to him. I will say, uh, last week, the first encore back, user did very, very well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he made he, some. Super upsets. Did he get top eight or did he just got, missed out top eight? I think he got nine. He beat me. He, and he also beat Ice. Which is very two for a very good one. I don't think he's beaten either of those two players. Uh, okay, R regardless. He already has that max Horus Spear. Wow! Wow, it was at like 90! I mean, you would have died 30% earlier. Than that. Probably. That's crazy. Right. And now, now we're at the point where Sinji needs to take this stock immediately. Okay, yeah, there he does. Can't, you can't do nothing. I mean, you that's have to do something. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what we were talking about. We were spawning in at Lucario at 150, yeah. right? True. Yes. But like, um, you know, if he puts that hydrant there and he gets it to, to knock up like that, you can't wait. You have to do an option, and he's gonna like try to read one of them and then kill you for it. So I will say, if you're Sinji, your first ever tournament back. Uh, this is, this, I think my, so this is the, the second game that he's played, or the second set. Yeah. And immediately you go up against a Lucario, and a scary Lucario at that. If you're even a little bit rusty, that's the sort of thing that can really come back to uh, True. absolutely hurt you. And yeah. Sinji looking, uh, sorry, username right now, looking to exploit that. He's at 90, but looking pretty healthy, whereas yeah. Sinji, even though he's at 65, 65 is like, a scary place to be. But he's got the bell. And this is the, the, the bell and the forward oh. smash. Yeah, the bell and the forward smash. Yep. That was a very, very, very good setup. The bell and the F smash are going to be how he gets early kill. That is the only way that the Pac Man's going to kill you early. And that was also like a little bit of matchup knowledge because username definitely could have just gone around him. Yeah. But he thought he was finally in lag and that, you know, extreme speed has a decent power behind that higher. It does. And like, it's, it's, it's also very hard to trade with. There's a very. Uh, far hitbox in front of him. So I think that like user had the oh, oh the, the bell's gone, I'll just like go to center for free. And then uh, the bell was actually still active. It lasts forever. Now he's down a stock, which we all know means wow, never mind. I take that back. That was I did not think that was gonna kill. 40% Lucario. I mean yes he was down a stock, but that's crazy. Okay. So yeah. The name of the game is like, I actually, you know what, we, we were talking about if he's going to try to get him with kills that are pretty early. I think, yes, he's still playing Pac-Man, so he's still playing mostly passive, but he's looking for like setups that kill him. He's looking for, for bells, he's looking for like, you know, yeah, here's the bell again. I think he's going to try to kill him at 90. He's not going to try to push him that much higher than 90. I mean, it would be kind of nice if he became a kill option, but that the risk of involved yeah. in that is that's now a higher percent Lucario. And since yeah, he finally maybe. gets it, I think that's going to be it. Yep. Yeah. Across the stage, that's more than enough. Yep. Username putting up a really solid game over right there. He even took the first stock, but since he's so consistent. Yes. And it's like Lucario can like exploit people's mistakes, obviously. And yeah. when you make a single mistake, you die. But the thing is that since he's such a good player that it expecting you to make those kind of critical errors three times enough that you're able to take the game from him is you like if you're using him you have to really earn the win yeah still. i think that when you think about how he was killed i don't think either of those two kills were because of sinji's mistakes i think one of them was just a very well placed aura sphere and the other was like a really cool mix up where he took on the trampoline and got the up air i think like users earning his kills here, which is, which is very good for him. It's very good for him, but I mean, I'm sure he would love it if Sinji started messing oh, up. Oh, of course. <laughs> like, the, the, the way that Lucario kills you at 20 is if, is if you can. But, uh, you know, if he's at 140 and you're at, like, 60, he doesn't need you to mess up that bad. He just needs to, like, get a nice read, you know, mix up his stuff. One of the things we're not seeing, and I'm very surprised about that, is Aura Sphere Light Strapping. I feel like that's 
Wakario's uh, main form of ledge trapping. I haven't seen him in Fox yet. Well, I mean, I feel like he's giving Sinji, first of all, oftentimes the hydrant is there. Yeah. But then also giving Sinji the respect he deserves at the ledge. Ah, you know, yeah, but like, what is he supposed to do about the Oris for charge, though? Um, Bell. Drop down Bell. Yeah, if he has it. Sure. Ooh! Ooh! So, little known fact, that counter tracks people. If, like, no matter how high or low you are, if you get hit, it will tr track you and try to hit you. Which is I, crazy. Like, I just want to dwell on the fact that whenever Sinji... Ah, there it is. That was right. so yeah. good. Just recognizing. He used it as an anti air option. He did. Seeing that username was doing these empty jumps towards him. Maybe he's trying to go for an air or a sphere. Maybe a late, you know, down air or something like that. And Sinji was ready for it. You know, what? one of the areas we see Lucario's do a lot, like in situations like that, they, they land for free if they have any aura with Nair. Because Nair is huge, and Nair is minus zero on shield when you have aura. So you're allowed to just kind of Nair for free. Oh! Push the roof. Oh, the guy stays like for it. Good try. I don't know what this setup was I'm exactly. I don't know what that noise I just made was. That was <laughs> genuinely the sound I made when I saw that. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure what exactly Tinji had in mind with that footstool or if it was it on purpose. I mean, I, I think it was on purpose. Me too. I, Sinji is always experimenting, you know, always yeah. trying to optimize this character. And in that particular situation, I don't think down smash either would, maybe wouldn't have connected or wouldn't have killed. I think it wouldn't have connected. I think it for sure would have killed. I think he was too far below, and he was like, I'm going to try to footstool him and mess up his recovery. But I think he won the footstool him and then maybe go for a high drink or something like that. Maybe. You just got good at good angles, though. Yeah, and... Already at 37. Oh, I like that B reverse to get around the Hydra. Ah. Yeah, you can't tunnel vision too much can't. on trying to get rid of that Hydra. Because Sinji is. It's one of the things Sinji loves, is when you lock yourself in place trying to get rid of it. Oh, he's doing that side because he's trying to command grab him. Oh, Wait, he's going no! Oh, he's alive. He's alive. The apple will kill him. He needs to be careful. Weak Nair. Oh, so I like smart. that idea. Very smart. He cancels oh, the lag from the upbeat by hitting the trampoline. Very, very good. And he's now at 190! He back throws him into the hydrant. He countered because he thought the, 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 the hydrant was coming towards him. It was staying right in place. He hit Sinji him. specifically yeah. hit it to be right in place. This is the up tilt. You don't, you don't usually see uh, Sinji missing the Gallagher combo. Oh man, at this point, Sinji with a definitely a solid lead, and he can start yes. playing more of the patient style that he wants to, or in fact, he can go off stage and yeah, try to I do Yeah, I think some. he has to go off stage and do that stuff. Oh, we can kill him. You got him, you got him, you got him. Nice, nice, wow. nice, 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 nice. Wow, and now it's just, this game is looking actually pretty even. 65% on Lucario is yeah. basically a And you know, he was take just that. down a stock before, so that aura is still carrying over from being down a stock. It takes a while for it to like reset. He has no jump, but who's gonna I guess was trying to beat him. Like, I think he was uh, waiting for a hydrant though. Yeah. The pac mans do love their hydrants. This is a close game. The crouch from the username is honestly looking really good. Ooh. Very I think that was a like a super aggressive bell. I don't know about that bell. That was a I want this game to, to be over bell. If he gets to truck and fruit, yeah. You can't give him the bell again. You gotta be on him. Ah, not quite bell yet. Yeah, he's, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Then you Careful. Swing. Yeah, and Jinning has to be aware and ready for that swing condition. Then we just key. We got key now. Interesting. I think he has key. I yeah, thought now I saw he does. key. Now he does. Oh, oh. he's dead. Yeah. Nice edge guard. That was actually very smart. He was yeah. trying to mix up his recovery with like Orsker charge jump and then like he turned around with the Orsker yeah, charge. to avoid the hydrant. Yeah. And this is the sort of thing where like Sinji uses that hydrant amazingly when he's yes. edge guarding. It just denies an entire column of space. Meaning that now he can go aggressive for the down airs or forward airs or you know if he has a projectile charged up he's throw yeah, an apple, apple down. Throw yeah. a melon. It's, it's like the threat. It's not even like that the you can do like the hydrant and then something else. It's the threat of hydrant. That like makes you want to not be below Pac-Man, but then he can like go forward with a dare, or like you, as you said, go for an apple, you know, some other thing like that. And uh, yeah. I think that that's what makes Pac-Man's Asgardian so strong. Is like the threat of of Hydrant always being able to just be like, Poof, 